No trade deadline news, nothing. We got nothing while we were doing the show on the football deadline. On deadline day, Stugatz is excited about transactions. Uh, Greg Cody loves the football transaction, and so far we've gotten nothing. What do we get, 4 p.m. deadline today? 4 p.m. deadline, Dan, and we got a lot of smoke surrounding Bradley Chubb, but no move made just yet. No fire. Stugatz was just saying that uh, Nolan Smith is out here. Big injury, Stugatz. That's a Georgia linebacker who is going to be a first-round pick. He leads the team in sacks. He's their best pass rusher, and you're going up against Hendon Hooker and Tennessee's offense. Like That's a big loss for Georgia's defense. Oh, it's a massive game. One versus a two. It's so great to have another SEC power. We have a weekend. We do. We do. We have a big weekend. You have Alabama taking on LSU. LSU is starting to play a lot better. You have Georgia, Tennessee. You have Notre Dame, Clemson. We have ourselves a weekend. Miami, Florida State. (laughs) Get out of here. The primetime ABC kickoff (laughs) against everyone's better judgment. Miami and Florida State. (laughs) Just because of logos. You mentioned FSU and you mentioned primetime. Stugatz has advice for FSU right now. I mean, the Auburn job is open and Deion Sanders is going to coach one of these big universities. And why not Florida State? Like, if you're Florida State, why would you not fire whoever your head coach is? I don't know his name. Is it Norvell? Mike, Mike Norvell. Yeah, yeah, get rid of that guy. Please have him on God Bless Football this he's, week. He's been there only for a few years. And guys. he hasn't done anything. Third year. Yeah. In a few, no, but damn, when a, guy like, signs. when a guy like Dion is available and he played at your school and he's proven himself to be a very good recruiter, knows business, can get players to come to Florida State, I have no idea if he's a good coach. But what I know is he is an attraction. That kids want to play for him. That college game day will go there because they want to be around Deion Sanders. If you're Florida State, why would you not make that hire? Like, that seems like a Money. no-brainer to me. Money. He's going to go to Auburn. You want to go in there? Like, no. I, th- I just don't. I think the timing's all wrong. Everything that I hear about Florida State is the reason why Mike Norvell has had ample opportunity to get this thing on track. And to his credit, there are signs that they are turning a corner over there. Is They bought out Willie Taggart very quickly. And they're still trying to pay that off. And it just doesn't seem like, I mean, the rapid ascension of Coach Prime's career is just not timing out right for them. I think Georgia Tech, that'd be a real inspired hire for them. Uh, It'd be interesting to see how it works at Auburn if they're in on it. It is abundantly clear, though, that Coach Prime is going to get a big-time job. And there will be many people who want him. There will be competition for his services. I wish he'd go to FSU, not... Uh, for a lot of different reasons, one of them being I still remember that he showed up for his last game in a top hat and a tuxedo and a limousine with a grade point <laughs> average of 0.0 because he hadn't gone to any classes and knew he was going in the draft, and I just want that to be what is leading FSU, all of it. And wasn't he already collecting MLB money because he got drafted in <laughs> <Yes>. MLB? <laughs> he, he, he knew that that was a business before the rest of us yeah. knew that that was a he business. Sure did. I've got a couple of things before. Greg Cody goes to the bucket of death here, and he's done a lot of losing this season. And we got to get Billy Gill to to please uh, get some people to dress up around here and start paying their punishments because another year has gone by where we are really frustrating our audience with nobody uh, nobody honoring their debts around here. Well, okay, so uh, don't worry. There are plans that are in place now. We're going to have a massive draft because we have eight weeks of unselected punishments. I will, however. Ah inform the audience yeah. that yesterday there were punishments paid off. However, half of the people that did in sync, in fact, all of the people that did in sync did not select in sync. Yeah. So those punishments do not count as being paid off what? by the people what? that Whoa. did them. What? So like for example, sure Stu Gotts was supposed to be an in sync and instead he dressed up as a, as a marijuana leaf. So I like did? that does not count as your in sync punishment. Like Tony dressed up as in sync he did not select that, so that does not count as a punishment being paid off. Roy selected one. He wasn't here. Our for costumes NSYNC. were not in sync. Yeah, yeah, no. Chris was Chris selected one and I selected it. So that counts, but there's still Mike and yeah. Roy and and Stugatz who were supposed to be in sync that didn't do it. I'm so very, I'm very frustrated oh. by yeah. it too because I wanted you to pay it, it off. <laughs> I, I wanted to pay it off, but I had to wait for everybody else to get it because it was like a tandem punishment. And then when it was finally executed, it was a day that I was in Buffalo. I, yeah. I was very confused. Uh, let me so let me point out something. You guys want people to own up to the punishments. Once upon a time, 
We used to have an actual grid. That's yeah. not just a name. We'd have a grid, and you could yeah. see all the punishments that are available. Yes. Well, I've never seen this. It's, it's never been emailed been to you multiple times. No, it hasn't. It, I promise. One hundred percent. I've sent know this email. Multiple never seen times. this email. That's the problem. Well, we have, have, have the fans seen the email? I mean, I don't have the fans' email address. Well, I'm just saying. Send us your email it address to, to at Darth Amin, and we will send you all the email. My wife. <laughs> I I came home yesterday. And I disappointed my wife, who is just trying to help us. Yeah. All she's trying to do, because none of you, none of you do this, and she's just trying to help me because she loves me. We gave her all sorts of bad information, and she left here feeling who's like we? The, who's group, we? the group did not know who had to pay punishment and that there were five members of InSync, which is something that she knew that there are five members of InSync, right. but it looked like we were so out of sync that we had four members of InSync and Harry Carey. That was very confusing, just consuming it online. I was very <laughs> confused as to why Harry Carey was in sync. So are you saying that it's Valerie's fault? What are you doing I am, here? No, I'm Sounds saying like the it. opposite. That's the opposite. That. Sounds like he's blaming saying. his wife. I didn't want you to get in trouble. I'm oh. saying it's everyone's fault here oh. except for Valerie's did, because did, we're in company. Oh. Uh, Mike Ryan was showing me a video yesterday. You guys were uh, making fun of me many years ago because I said all quarterbacks, except for in the situation where Jerome Bettis fumbles at the goal line in a championship game and you need Ben Roethlisberger to make a tackle, I have said uh, you just need your quarterback, if he throws an interception, to curl up in the fetal position <laughs> at the center of the field. And yesterday, did you see this, Stugatz, where there was an interception and – Burrow is chasing down the interception and then realizes that Miles Garrett is the lead blocker and Burrow starts running away from Miles Garrett. <laughs> as far away like, as possible. He, he, he turns his head away. He turns, it looked like Miles Garrett was chasing Burrow, who was intending to make the tackle before that, but now Burrow is just running as fast as he can. A dead sprint. He turns his head away. You can see his helmet turn from the ball carrier straight to the end zone because that is a Tom Cruise like booking it to the end zone away from Miles Garrett. Smart man. He realizes that on a return, all of a sudden the you, the quarterback is free to hit, and that's not just anybody chasing you. It's someone number one who can catch you, and Miles Garrett who's faster than you, and certainly a lot stronger. It was a great business decision by Joe Burrow. You were so ahead of the curve on that, Dan. It's actually it's such a great great take and great opinion. But you would agree, still, right in a playoff game, if you're the quarterback, you got to go after him, right? Just in a playoff game. Regular season, I understand. But in a playoff game, you throw a pick, you have to chase that guy down. It's your responsibility. Not if it's Miles Garrett. Yeah, even if it's Miles Garrett. There's the, no tomorrow, Dan. It's the playoffs. I mean, I'm just saying that if it were Miles Garrett chasing me or anybody on earth, I'd bail. They should run. <laughs> I'd rather have an Ibex in my hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the Grim Reaper in here so that Greg Cody can pick from the bucket. Greg, what is your record on the season? It, you can't, know? it can't be good because I think I have a stack of unpaid uh, debts. I believe you have seven losses that you need to <laughs> Come on. You know what? deliver on. Get, uh, listen, me dressing up like Miles Standish yesterday, can that count as a grid of death payoff? I, no. And Maybe. Maybe. Well, it seems as though we're going to have to do a lot of house cleaning on that, so maybe. A lot of teams on buys this week, so that's a, that's a good thing for you. You're also buys. Joe Madden today. Yeah. Lots of safety. There's point. like six yeah. buys or something. Yeah, six yeah. buys. The Jets. Ooh. No longer the nightmare it used to be. The Jets are at home against the Buffalo Bills. Throw oh, that back I don't in. like that. Yeah. Oh, do I have to throw it back, or can I leave yeah, it out on the chair? It's the same rules every week. Same rules every week. They never change. Right, he's going back in. All lines courtesy of our friends at DraftKings. Bills! Oh! Wow. All right. Yeah! That's Media never upgrade. happened before. Dad, not to make this more confusing, but didn't you pull the golden helmet of life oh, last week? Don't bring that up. Yeah, what does that mean? <laughs> no, it, it means that you get to choose this week. You chose the Bills. So I choose the Bills. Yeah, you, exactly. We're good. I would have picked the Bills. Stop, Bills. There you go.